Hi folks, it's Nikki Jameson here and today I'm going to do a demonstration of Rebel 5 Pro thick paint brushes or rather let's call them the oil and acrylic brushes. So last video when we were exploring Rebel we were looking at the watercolour brushes and I've also been playing around with some of the other brushes and some of my very favourites are the thick paint brushes uh, as well as the oil and acrylic brushes. So this little um, abstract picture I had here before is just an experiment as I was playing with some of the some of the brushes and what I did after after that was to um, do another layer of watercolor uh, paint or watercolor drips and Rebel has a very interesting way of mixing of being able to mix watercolor and thick paint together unlike some of the uh, other painting programs. So I didn't actually mix it on the same layer in this particular example. I did it on two separate layers and in another video I will try mixing them together to see what we come up with. So for now I'm going to close both these layers. I've already chosen, we're going to paint on this top layer which I've added and I've already cha um, chosen a canvas layer. It's um, quite a thick canvas weave here and I'll just show you here there is a rather uh, coarse canvas but there are lots of other canvases here that I can use and in Rebel you can also pick the color that you that you want for your canvas okay so I'm just going to say okay I haven't made any changes uh, to this particular canvas and so we are going to just explore some of these brushes so we are in the um, oils and acrylics and uh, we have uh, some brushes here we have flat brushes uh, flat oily flat dry uh, flat bright filbert filbert soft flat dry thin and thick dry so we'll see what we can do with these brushes and see what they what they do and we can explore in another video actually painting with them so as I've said in previous videos, this is just an exploration. It's not with an objective to paint a picture. It's just really to play with the, the brushes and see what they do. Uh, so I have my pigment, use pigment color on at the moment because I want to show you how the colors mix together. Um, let's pick a color set here and we'll go in between the color set um, I'll keep that down there, although that's not going to make that much of a difference. Okay, so let's let's push ahead with this. I'm going to try and paint. Why are we on white? Okay, I'm going to try and paint something, uh, but it won't be like a painting. So this brush is the flat oily, and I've left it in its original with 100% um, loading, 100 oily, and so you can see this is a really nice. Um, uh, oily uh, brush. Okay, let's mix it with another color here. So this yellow. So let's try and do these little flowers. So you can see with the pigments, because this used pigment color is on, and we have the paint and mix. So what I'm doing here, it is mixing, it's attempting to mix these colors. Now if I put paint and blend, we get a very, a bit of a different effect so this is this blue it's blending the blue in as opposed to just mixing mixing it there you go okay all right let's pick a different color so I'm using the oil uh, palette here and let's try the flat dry and don't forget you can change if I change the loading here on this brush and we are on paint and blend you get something different so it's it's blending more now let's try it with this so you can increase the oiliness of the brush or increase the uh, the paint load and um, if I turn the oiliness down there you can you can get something different so there's lots of versatility with these with these brushes and with a lot of practice and and play you can decide what you want to do 
So I'm going to keep it on, what have I got, paint and blend for this one right now, rather than paint and mix. And we can get this interesting effect or interesting brush stroke. It's flat oily, so flat dry. Let's try flat dry. So flat dry, let's reset it. It's always good to sort of reset the, the, the brushes and then you can make the changes. I'm going to make this a little bit larger it's only 30 31 there and you can see that this has some really great thick paint or oh, acrylic i just made it a little bit bigger so you can you can see it you can see the strokes there i'm actually going to go to this is if i'm doing paint and mix and if i was doing paint only you see it will put down it will put down more paint Okay, so now it's just adding the paint. If I go to paint and mix, it will mix that paint as best it can. And if I if I go to paint and blend, you get a a creamier um, blend of that of these of these two colors. So that's probably good for like edges and you know getting rid of those sort of hard edges and just adding interest okay so let's go to flat i'll just reset that brush and i'm going to go to my color wheel for a bit because i think i play around with the colors a little bit i can see them a bit more um okay and i'm going to make this canvas a little bit smaller here let's move that a wee bit okay so let's see what we've got here so this is a really nice brush look at the strokes there this is a really great brush i'm gonna get this dark color here and you can see this is this is blending i always have to check here to see which one i'm actually on because it's it's very easy to get carried away with whatever the paint you had it on the last time so I know this these colors are probably not uh, the, the greatest choices but you just have to bear with me for that so this is uh, if I reset oh this is already reset so it's okay and it is dirty brush uh, it has a high loading let's take the loading down a bit and see what we have There you go. I wanted to get some of that. Uh, actually, and you see, as I'm painting, as I'm picking up the paint here, it's going back to this color. So I can actually sample the color by pressing Alt, and I can pick up the color. If I turn this pigment off, it will it will stop attempting to mix the the, the colors, and it will stay sort of true to what I'm to the color that I'm actually using there. But I'm gonna turn that back on because I wanna get the uh, the mixing abilities if I can. Okay, turn the doiliness down. We'll move it up. Okay, so that's uh, flat and as you can see if you, if you change the size, loading and oiliness, you see the, you'll see it change in there. So, go so as soon as you put the paint down it will uh it will attempt to mix that paint all right so let's move on to the next one which is called bright i don't know that i've used this particular brush before now let's move to something other than blue okay so i'm going to do i'm going to try paint and mix for a bit so if I put paint and mix, start with paint and mix. And I know I'm using weird colors here, very weird colors. If I put the paint, if I use paint and mix first, so, and then I go to paint and blend, I can then attempt to blend these colors in. 
Okay, so we take those colors and blend them. And the other thing is blending, but it takes the paint immediately and tries to blend. So if you just want to put paint down, you just want to have just paint only. And here you can see the uh, pigment option um, taking advantage of that because it's creating this green from this blue and yellow. Let's blend that and see what happens. There you go. So it's a nice, it's acrylic, it's actually an a, a, a acrylic paint there. Okay, and let's try the filbert now. Let's, ooh, neon green. I've got this a bit small. I don't know why, but let's, so I'm literally just picking some of the colors here and I think I'll go back to, let's go back to my color set and see if we can get a bit of harmonization. Yeah. And we have the oiliness turned up. Let's just try paint rather than paint and blend for a bit. Yeah. Paint, paint and blend really does limit the amount of paint that goes down, but that's really what it's supposed to do. So you just put the paint down, you can always go back and blend it later. Okay, so that's Filbert. Um, the next is Filbert Soft. Let's try this orange. So again, just painting. Let's try and make it kind of like a flower or something. And because it's a dirty uh, dirty brush, you can actually see it's pulling in, even though it's just paint, it's keep, it's taking the orange paint I had there before. Okay. So it really goes down really, really nice and smooth. Okay. Um, Filbert, what have we got here? Flat, dry, thin. So I haven't changed this one, obviously. So we got flat, dry, thin. Let's see what we come up with this one. So it is flat and pretty dry. We're using the dirty brush. Let's reset this. We're just using paint. And now you can see it's blending this, it's really blending this in and the oiliness is quite low. So I'm going to increase the oiliness just to see what we can, let's use another color here. So these are quite different from the thick paint brushes. They have a, a different texture and obviously the canvas that you use is going to um, make a bit of a difference. I'm going to make this, oops, make this a little bit smaller. I've used the brushes really quite thickly here just to show off the stroke and it it um you will get very different uh strokes with the size change. Okay, so if you like a dirty brush here, this is what this will the dirty brush setting will will do. Okay. And like I say, this is not meant to to be anything in particular. Okay, I'm just trying to make less of a mess than I than I usually do. All right, and uh, let's clean the brush up a bit. So I took off the dirty brush and you can see the, the, the difference. So dirty brush and blend. Oh, sorry, took that off. So that way it will pull, it will pull in the, uh, the paint because I have it on, on um, paint and mix. So it's gonna attempt to mix the colors, okay? Okay, the next one is thick dry. Let's choose something wild for this. So we're gonna be boring and choose red. Um, what's for this blue? So there we have, this is a fairly low setting. So I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna increase the loading and increase the oiliness. And we have uh, multicolor. So this is a multicolor. I should have uh, highlighted that. It's a multi. This setting's a multicolor. If I turn off the multicolor, just leave it on the, as the dirty brush. It will pull it. It will use any um, the 
the the paint that from the previous and actually I don't want it to really spread that far so let's do that I'm gonna decrease the size a bit choose another color let's choose this yellow and you can get some really nice build up if I put it back on paint that's where you will let you turn that up and turn that up it will load the brush and here's you can see the build up maybe so you can get quite a bit of build up doing it this way you have to pardon my use of the colors I'm not really harmonizing much here so so that is thick dry and as I say if you reduce the loading and the oiliness and uh, depending on your other settings here you can get a very different stroke and you can mix this is so let's try blending this you get a nice uh, blending and don't forget if you've got this pigment um, button switched on you can blend these colors quite nicely went to my watercolor um, the watercolor brushes we've already looked at the watercolor before um, I prefer to do this on another layer if I don't know how it's actually going to work but I can actually uh, if I added like um, uh, some watercolor strokes to this I would get something very interesting you can see how it's you know these strokes are they're going to 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 fall okay they're going to start falling so I'm really just showing you showing you this just to basically so this is on a separate layer so if I don't like it you know I can I can remove it if I was to do it and you can see that it will it will fall according to some of the settings that I have here so it makes for a nice uh, interesting abstract if I want to do it let's say I want to do this on the same layer here I could still do do that and you know it would still the watercolor would still um, do what it does let's use a brighter color here so you can see it but you can get some really nice um, you know, nice impacts now I'm using canvas so that might not be the best for uh, for watercolor necessarily and uh, but you, I could just fill in the background here um, you know just put some some interesting this is really just to just to show you how the watercolor and the um, acrylics actually mix in this instance okay so there's lots and lots of options with uh, Re with Rebel I kind of like putting this on this I hadn't tried it before on the same layer if I um, wanted to put it on my other layer I could just get this combined um, effect of the watercolor which is you know messy but um, great for experimentation okay I will leave it there thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you in a next video thank you so much take care